what's up guys in this tutorial uh, we'll be doing a city map using CAD mapper and uh, we'll be also using uh, Rhinoceros 3D so it's like uh, this CAD mapper works uh, in a different way like uh, not like an open street maps and other platforms so we can uh, grab some of the site here and uh, we use different layers as you see here and also this CAD mapper um, can export to AutoCAD, SketchUp, Rhinoceros and also Illustrator so let's go to the website and uh, let's start this session so this is a website the, le the link will be in the description and um, so if you see here it's uh, it will on we can only download the file up to one kilometer radius more than that uh, it will charge for every meter and we can export to AutoCAD, SketchUp, Rhinoceros, Illustrator for uh, for the visualization everything and uh, you can you will be getting the different layers uh, when you export the file example if you are, if you are exporting to Rhino or AutoCAD, SketchUp so the topology in, will be in different layer and 2D will be in different layer and also 3D will be in different layer so first you need to grab the uh, grab the uh, site and again you will get it you will get the la layers and again you can render and show your visualization and and one more thing um, all over the world this data will be there uh, you can find the data in the CAD mapper and also you will be getting some of the complete cities uh, in CAD mapper just uh, metropolitan city uh, area road networks which uh, includes three levels of roads and as polyline uh, water bodies and etc and uh, the, these are the cities what we get we don't we don't get buildings so they they are the main data right so they they don't give the buildings and they just give road networks water bodies uh, uh, parks and uh, the roads everything right so so we will be, will be we will also be doing this uh, exercise. So let's uh, start creating a file. So just uh, like that, just randomly, just you can just select a part. Uh, select. I just selected. I just grabbed uh, the location uh, from Paris. Like I want to take this Eiffel Tower here, so you can see the variations of the heights. Uh, what uh, we have here, and it's like you can see here uh, it's you'll be getting free up to one kilometer radius so you can just again keep this up to one kilometer radius and more than this if you see so for every meter for every kilometer so it it increases the um, uh, the cost of it so it's like almost two kilometers it's uh, six usd so it's if it is that necessary you can uh, you can buy from here it's a good platform and let's uh, let me keep this uh, for one kilometer radius and here if you see to create this map these are the some of the parameters what you, uh, what you see here and these are the some of the platforms where you can so I'll, you know, for this session i'll just uh, uh, do with rhino file and including we can include all this 3d buildings topology with the contours and uh, everything for now i'll just keep all this hide like i'll keep this untick so we'll do we'll we'll, we'll take this and export afterwards and we'll see what's the difference and how uh, the data they are given and this uh, let me keep this uh, outer lines for now this center lines works like this if you see uh, here uh, these are the lines and also these are the lines right so if you if you uh, see my last tutorial which is uh, creating a map from elk uh, grasshopper so in, th in that you'll be getting only single lines whatever it is like main roads uh, primary road secondary road territory road all the roads will be getting single line so in the in, in this case if you want a single line yeah in this case if you want a single line you can just keep the center line and just uh, uh, keep this uh, uh, export this so let me, for now I'll just keep this outer lines here and highway 12 meters you can change the uh, the roadways here so it's it's not 
let me repeat it's not a perfect uh, drawing if you need perfect drawing according to your your need you need to raster it because every country every uh, uh, state they will be having their own uh, security issue so they will not uh, expose their data and uh, create their problem so so let's continue this session and just create this file so here it's like it's uh, taking time um, an estimation time is like 30 seconds here and it's creating a file to, uh, for that and meanwhile we'll be getting this download link so as we kept that type of parameters so now we got this flat kind of uh, um, data here what uh, you can see here so this is an illustrator map if you are ex exporting to illustrator you'll be getting directly like this okay so let me let me download this and start downloading and open this file you can extract here and open this file so this is uh, the two files what they give you open this license file it's like uh, just a, a file a common file how, what they give uh, everything and you can import this to Rhino and just I'm inserting you can also open directly and uh, you can play something so it's completely fat as you see here and if you go to top these are uh, come all these are all the data what we get here and uh, it's little messy but it's those are in the layers so as I imported uh, the file in Rhino so these are the default layers you can just delete the layers using purge command P U R C E and enter so all the uh, undata uh, layers will be deleted so now you'll be getting these are the buildings right so let me this just color this to something like red reddish brownish red and this railways to something purple and box and see this as green and what about is to blue and outer line these are the roads so now you can uh, even take this file to laser cut so because what all curves they will give you they will be giving with uh, all the closed curves and only some of the uh, curves will be like open so if you see this is this is open and this is open but this is closed so uh, it's like you need to check what all closed and what all open you can also check like this select f e l c l o s e d c u r so this is a command like closed curve command so all these curves are closed only these are uh, open because these are actually like uh, th these boundaries are actually like uh, so far so that's why it's like this so you can take this to laser cut and uh, again you can um, do your model too so let's uh, export another file which is uh, you can also go to my download here and these are this is a recent file uh, download and you can open this uh, reselect area and so it will be select exactly how I exported before and you can select the 3d buildings and topology with contours and also this false height so if, if you on this uh, take this false height here it, the buildings what all we have here some of the buildings might have the data and might not have the data too so if the building is not having any data so you can set a default height which is like 4 meter and uh, you can set uh, this contours height uh, to 4 why 4 why not less than 4 is like this uh, in this website it's they limited for 4 meter if you want one we can directly uh, we'll be getting this topology surface right so you can directly use contour command in rhino just let me keep this 4 for now and and you can use this uh, mesh surface here to uh, to show the surfaces also and uh, and you can keep all this uh, as it is export uh, you can create the file so it takes time so it shows all this uh, all the uh, data 
this is uh, how we get uh, the data uh, what how what we expected and let me just download this and uh, open this folder and extract this so, and next open this and you can drag and drop and this and insert and oh, okay and you can just place here if you go to prospect view so and uh, if you go to just uh, shade it so this this all looks like messy and because uh, all this uh, came with meshes right so this is a topology surface and this is a building and this is an uh, actual tower so let me explain you how these buildings have been created from their website like uh, they take uh, the data from uh, satellite they just uh, project some of the points to earth and uh, what all heights they have uh, in a particular uh, boundary uh, what they created for a building they extrude uh, to that uh, height and uh, when when they extrude that to height if uh, if the building is like in a not in a uh, cubical shape so you'll be getting only the cubical shape if you delete this um, you can see this tower which is like extruded different different uh, parts so it's trying to uh, it's trying to show you the detail shape of it but uh, not like an exact of it but it's it's just a rough uh, rough uh, drawing which is like uh, to represent the heights uh, and according to the coding so let's uh, of this some of the layers if you if you see here all these uh, buildings has been read here because the the building names and all the names what um, this file also have so it directly uh, import in the present uh, layer names so if you off this all the buildings from this side and this side uh, will also be off so let me just off this and also off contours and also off this topology yeah, yeah now you can just uh, go to render and you can create uh, the view how you want the colors with the different different um, views and uh, you can just uh, keep this little like a uh, brownish kind of and and paths you can keep something like orange and uh, major rows you can see something like this yeah minor rows like this outer lines. yeah outer lines are if you go to shader you can see the outer lines what, what it is so outer lines are from here so it's not necessary to change here and you can see these are the water bodies so it's also the curves so and, and you can uh, these are the paths here see if you see here the, the, the they just uh, gave these curves and they didn't give the surfaces and this is just a topology if you go to render the curves uh, just you can just on um, this here you can see all these curves here but if you want a surface here you need to split uh, this uh, uh, you need to create a surface and uh, split through these curves and uh, you need to uh, keep in a different layer and uh, you need to apply a material for that so you can you can do that it's very easy just you can just select the mesh and uh, you can go to meshes and you can create a surface from mesh or uh, again you can extract this iso curves extract uh, what sorry extract a wireframe the mesh has wireframe not iso curves and uh, you can group this and patch it so now you'll be getting this surface uh, according to your uh, degree what you gave here is it's like 4 here let me keep uh, something like 30 by 30 so how much uh, more number of degree you keep for the surface so that details of it you'll be getting so this is uh, this surface uh, I got here and uh, let me keep this surface in a different layer and let me 
of this topology and on this on the surface here. So if you see, these are the uh, these roads and other other layers which are intersecting here. To ignore that, just you can all select all these layers and just or you can select this surface layer which is this and we can just move a little down and again down how much you want so now you can see complete uh, maps here and you can on you can on on the rest of it so you got this uh, contours here if you if you want a particular So if you want a particular contour, again you can create a contour from uh, this surface. You can just give this and one meter, so you get a uh, contour from one meter height, which are these and which are, which are very looks very nice. And and you can on buildings and uh, take the render of this, right? So this is how we create uh, the map from CAD Mapper, and uh, let me just uh, show you to how how can we download uh, the city city maps from this. It's very easy. Just you need to find your city. Some only like 200 plus cities are being uploaded here. And example, if I'm taking this uh, Mumbai um, Bangalore here, it says that you can just download this zip file. So they just use a uh, DXF file here, you can start download and open this, you can extract from here and you can drag and drop this in the file, insert, okay. okay, so it will be heavy so it takes uh, time to add and downloads. so now if you, if you go to top view. So in this case, so you can see some of some of the layers which are given here, which are road one. This is uh, I think it's an outer ring road, and uh, these are sub roads, and these are linked uh, with sub roads. Yeah. So and and uh, these are water bodies. These are water bodies, and and these this is completely data. Uh, what they give? Just you can just uh, see the morphology of the city, how it has been like uh, developed, and how it's actually connecting each other, right? So you can download uh, many of the cities from here. You'll, you'll be just getting the roads and water bodies and uh, yeah that's it uh, the roads and water bodies so and some of the rail networks like that so that's it in this uh, tutorial uh, we learn many things and uh, stay tuned uh, we'll be uploading many other nice tutorials in the future uh, you can follow us uh, from uh, from instagram mystical studio and uh, our website www.mysticalstudio.com thank you so much